to it. Okay. Um, I'm Luke Sclay, this is Ray Wallace. We are doing a presentation dealing with the world of sustainable food chain and why we think it's the best for America. So, Ara will start us off. The food is better for the consumer because it doesn't have any added chemicals or pesticides and everything is natural. Yes. Um, locally grown food provides several benefits. It's often pesticide free and preservative free. It offers the improved nutrients. It has a lot of very good stuff and it takes away the chemicals that could be harmful. This yeah. is setting because grass, not petroleum, is a foundation of this farm success. This is healthy for the crops and it's good to eat because there's no gas or chemicals soaking into the crop. Okay, um, there are no pesticides or no, no artificial fertilizer and no pollution and no extra waste, which all that is explaining is that they don't use any chemicals or any major thing, they just use nature to help uh, the, to fix the pollution and stuff. Healthy soil contains many nutrients, which could help the crops to become a lot healthier because it, absor it absorbs the nutrients. Yes, and that's helpful because they, uh, they use chickens to clean the manure that the cows waste. It's not the prettiest thing to hear, but... So since everything the farm uses is grown on the farm, there's no other pesticides that can be brought in to be used on the, on the food. Okay, um, these images are talking about how the um, local, the local food chain, how they, the cycle of how they do it. Um, as you can tell, there is no chemicals anywhere out here. Um, they just use everything natural um, and, well, good nature, of course. Um, this is the the other the more in depth cycle of the um, uh, local sustainable. Uh, and came closer so they can look at it. I don't know. Okay. 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 I don't know if you can see this now, but um, see it? um, it's saying that they just use grass to um, like to feed the cattle, as you can tell. They use natural water, no pollution. Um, the, the animals are free from just, they're not caged in like cafos, they're just free and open. Um, and then it pretty much just repeats itself. It like they eat the feed and they don't use farming feed. They use um, feed, I'm well, not, sorry. They don't use factory feed, they use farming feed. Um, you can, we will carry on now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And like I was talking about the cafos, or the, it's pretty much a farm where they have the animals very densed in. Um, and this is a chicken cafe, and this is a cow cafe. Um, as you can tell, I would not want to live in that because for the cows, they're walking in their own uh, waste. Um, and they're pretty much crammed in there, which would be very harmful for me. And I guess it's just socks. And this is chickens where these little uh, things right here is like the, they um, eat from those. Um, and this is what the local sustainable local sustainable looks like. With the they're a lot more open and they're not caged in. And in my opinion, they look a lot more happier. Plus, they got a nice belt in there. <laughs> okay. And I know um, in a lot of the um, stores and stuff, uh, local sustainable food that is being produced in like farmers markets or that kind of stuff like that, it's a lot more expensive. And the only reason why it's expensive is because um, they are not relying on uh, factories to um, uh, factories to give them food and supplies. So the farmer has to buy their own supplies, and it's normally a lot more healthier. And plus, they're not using fuel, so they have to because they're not doing that. They have to uh, balance the price over how long it takes for the cows to be fed or be fed enough to. Uh, be able to be like used, shall I say? Um, that's uh, pretty much everything. Is there anything else you want to add on to? It? No. So the that's everything that we have for the for uh, this presentation. Thank you. We all good. Yes. All right.